In the last lecture, we completed volt ampere characteristics of a PN junction diode. In this lecture, we will discuss effects of temperature on VI characteristics. On increasing or decreasing the temperature, the volt ampere characteristics of diode changes significantly. If you increase or decrease the temperature, the characteristics of diode will change in both forward and reverse bias conditions and the effect of temperature is different for both forward bias and reverse bias reason. Let us take VI characteristics of a silicon diode to understand the effects of temperature. This is the VI characteristics of silicon diode and because of this we have barrier potential equal to 0.7 volts and once the applied voltage across the diode is equal to 0.7 volts there is an exponential increase in the current and this is the forward bias reason let me write this down this is forward bias reason and this is reverse bias reason reverse bias reason and first we will discuss forward bias reason because effect of temperature is different in case of forward bias reason and then we will discuss reverse bias reason so let's start our discussion on forward bias reason or forward bias condition we can say in case of forward bias reason, the characteristics of silicon diode shift to the left at rate of 2.5 millivolts per degree centigrade rise in temperature. This is very important point and first I will write this and then we will discuss what it is. In case, in case of forward bias reason the characteristics the characteristics of silicon diode of silicon diode we have taken silicon diode so the characteristics of silicon diode shift shift to the left shift to the left at a rate of at a rate of 2.5 millivolts 2.5 millivolts per degree per degree centigrade centi grade rise in temperature rise in temperature so this is very important point and you must note it somewhere according to this in case of forward bias condition characteristics of silicon diode shift to the left at a rate of 2.5 millivolts per degree centigrade rise in temperature so if we increase the temperature if we increase the temperature the characteristics of silicon diode will shift to the left at the rate of 2.5 millivolts so the plot will shift to the left on increasing the temperature on increasing the temperature the plot will shift to the left and uh, on decreasing the temperature on decreasing the temperature the plot will shift to the right now let us take one example to understand this let's say at 25 degrees celsius vd is equal to 0 0.7 volts vd is the voltage across the diode and it is equal to 0 0.7 volts at 25 degrees celsius so this is the plot at 25 degree celsius and we have vd equal to 0 0.7 volts let's say we increase the temperature by 100 degree celsius and we want to calculate vd when we have a new temperature so for 100 degree centigrade rise in temperature or we can say that or at 125 degree celsius we have to find vd 25 degree celsius was the initial temperature and we have increased 100 degree so we have 125 degree celsius temperature now we will find out vd and as i have already explained for one degree rise in temperature the voltage across the diode will reduce by 2.5 millivolts and we have increased 100 degree celsius so we will multiply 
hundred by two point five milli volts, and this will give us zero point two five volts. So the new voltage across the diode, therefore the new voltage across the diode will reduce by 0 0.25 volts because this plot will shift to the left and the new the new VD is equal to 0 0.7 minus 0 0.25 volts and this is equal to 0 0.35 volts so the value at 125 degrees Celsius is equal to 0 0.35 volts now if we decrease the temperature by 100 degrees Celsius then let's see what we have for 100 degree Celsius drop in temperature or we can say that at minus 75 degrees Celsius initially we were having 25 degrees Celsius and when we reduce the temperature by 100 degrees Celsius we have minus 75 degrees Celsius I will do the same thing I will multiply 100 by 2.5 millivolts and this will give us 0 0.25 volts so there is change of 0 0.25 volts and uh, the plot will shift to the right so there is increase this change will increment the voltage across the diode and the new the new VD is equal to 0 0.7 plus 0 0.25 and this is equal to 0 0.95 volts so if you reduce the temperature the voltage across the diode will increase and if you increase the temperature the voltage across the diode will reduce the voltage across the diode we are getting is not any random voltage but it is equal to the barrier potential and at this voltage the current rises exponentially so you can also say barrier potential increases when we decrease the temperature and barrier potential barrier potential decreases when we increase the temperature so this new plot is for minus 75 degree celsius and the value of VD is equal to 0 0.95 volts so this is all for forward bias condition now we will move to reverse bias condition in case of reverse bias condition the reverse saturation current doubles for every 10 degree rise in temperature this is another important point in this lecture for reverse bias condition the reverse saturation current IS doubles doubles for every for every 10 degree centigrade rise in temperature so this is another important point and please write it down so that it will help you in numerical problems as well so if we talk about reverse bias condition and if we increase the temperature then for every 10 degree rise in temperature the reverse saturation current IS this is the reverse saturation current IS doubles and uh, we will have a new reverse saturation current that is greater than the earlier one let's take one example and try to understand this in first case we will increase the temperature by 100 degree Celsius so for 100 degree centigrade rise in temperature or at 125 degree Celsius of temperature this plot is at 25 degree Celsius and the reverse saturation current the reverse saturation current here is equal to 10 nano ampere and uh, we have increased the temperature by 100 degrees so we have a new temperature 125 degrees Celsius and we have to find out the new reverse saturation current and as I have already told you in case of reverse bias condition the reverse saturation current doubles for every 10 degree rise in temperature so at 35 degree Celsius we have 20 nano ampere because at 25 degree Celsius 
we have 10 nano ampere from this plot you can see at 25 degrees Celsius we have 10 nano ampere the value of reverse saturation current and we have increased the 10 degrees Celsius so we have 20 nano ampere as the reverse saturation current the double of 10 nano ampere and if the temperature is 45 degrees Celsius we have 40 nano ampere in the same way for 55 degrees Celsius the reverse saturation current is 80 nano ampere and if you repeat the process you will find at 125 degrees Celsius the temperature at which we have to find the reverse saturation current is equal to 10,240 nano ampere or we can write it as 10.24 micro ampere so the new current so the new reverse saturation current is 10.24 micro amperes so the reverse saturation current increases with increase in temperature and we have calculated it for 125 degrees Celsius and by the same process if you calculate at minus 75 degrees Celsius you will find reverse saturation current reduces now what about breakdown voltage let's say this is the breakdown voltage at 25 degrees Celsius the reverse breakdown voltage of a semiconductor diode will increase or decrease with temperature depending on the Zener potential. So this breakdown voltage may increase or decrease with temperature depending on depending on the Zener, Zener potential. So this is all for reverse bias condition and we have to be careful with reverse bias condition because you can see reverse saturation current increases with increase in temperature and uh, this may also damage the diode therefore for high temperature applications reverse saturation current IS should be closer to 10 picoampere the reverse saturation current IS should be closer closer to 10 picoampere for high temperature applications this is for high temperature applications so that reverse saturation current remains smaller this value 10.24 microampere is the high value for reverse saturation current and if you have a reverse saturation current closer to 10 picoampere in this case we have 10 nanoampere and if it is closer to 10 picoampere you will have reverse saturation current smaller as compared to this value and if we compare germanium if we compare germanium silicon and gallium arsenide we will find reverse saturation current for germanium is high and for silicon and gallium arsenide reverse saturation current is smaller so the application of germanium is limited because of high reverse saturation current and silicon and gallium arsenide have relatively smaller IS at room temperature so we will use them extensively. Silicon is the most popular material for semiconductor diode. So this is all for this lecture. If you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section.